Hi everybody, welcome to the latest fan cam. So before we get on with the fan cams, as usual, no, get downloading the One Football app. It is free. The link is in the description for that. All the latest news, your transfers, your gossip, stats with Newcastle United. Every football fan needs it. Uh, merch the top. Kyle, where'd you get that shirt from? What's this website called? <laughs> well, we move on, can we just get uh, what the HATC's guys wearing? I'll start that again. So, Kyle, where'd you get your top on? First page. <laughs> Fashion spot. Um, hopefully, it does put. Well, I'm now dropping your stuff. Free rep rule. So, take three, everyone. This, this will be an outtake. Kyle, where'd you get your top from? Free rat roll. Oh, I'm glad we got another win on my hands today. It wasn't not going to be easy at all because the run Burnley have been on and beaten in so many games and um, I thought you expect them to be quite dangerous, particularly on counter-attacks, but they've read them well, uh, particularly a lot of the time, particularly the long balls, we were reading those a lot as well. Absolutely brilliant, mate. Brilliant performance. I think, uh, as says in the quick thoughts, one of our best performances of the season. We're just bossed Burnley today. We made them look average. And this arm wrong side is just giving everybody a lift. I think... We won't beat Man City, maybe it's the announcement that we drew a deal down run like hours before. Uh, I think that gave the players a lift and it's continued to do so in these um, past two or three games. Performance today was just outs outstanding. Fabian Shaw is just lethal. Uh, long stuff, class as, as always. Uh, Almiron, uh, he, had a, he, had, he had a good game as well. Um, so did everyone. The first half played it amazing. Shaw's goal was really, really good by Shaw. The long staff just to get a goal for him was brilliant. Uh, the, so the first half was the better half. Because the second half, we didn't know what to do. We scored two goals. What else could we do? So the second half, we were a bit sluggish on the ball. Did Burnley have a chance? Just the one in the first half. Wasn't it? They were. They we made Burnley look average. Any chance they had, we shut down immediately. We just and we controlled them all game. That's what we're like the same Burnley who haven't been beaten in eight games. We made them look bang average tonight. We made them look at a relegation side and Burnley have been a have been a nightmare for some teams this season, but we made them look bang average. We really did. Brilliant performance um, from start to finish. Um, everybody, um, there was a threat of Burnley obviously because you knew what they were going to do. It was just long balls into the box constantly. They had no other plan to do and we cope with them brilliantly. And just everybody again, the same as the Huddersfield game on point. And surprisingly, instead of actually playing amazing football between Rondon, Perez and Almiron, we actually go and score two, well, one screamer and two well, one well-taken goal as well. I thought Burnley were let, let themselves down with some really poor finishing, missing sitters, and second half they really struggled to get into the game, so we capitalised on, on that big time, so, and um, hopefully it does put, well, I'm now dropping your stuff, um, uh, hopefully it puts us closer to that safety spot now. I think Sean Dyche as a manager is very overrated. I think if you can nullify his strategy of blasting the ball up to the big centre forwards, you can you can stop them completely because they don't have players and get on the ball and really they um, really like they haven't got many technically gifted players. And that's not a knock to Burnley. I, I, I do have a lot of respect for Burnley. Short trip. It, it is a short trip. I'm sick of the Brightons and flipping Southamptons of this world, but. Um, yeah, I just think we made them look bang average today, mate. I really do. I thought maybe Fernandes would be better than Chef this game, but I was proven wrong. Um, but I think Burnley, they just didn't really have a threat. Uh, I do think they'll uh, sell, but they just didn't uh, look that good today. Class, absolutely great. Um, gl glad, glad we got the six, the six pointer. That's what, that's what, we, that's what we needed. Um, just focusing on um, Saturday against West Ham. Hope we're getting, uh, get. I'd be happy if we get another three points doing that, that'd be class. If I'm going to shout out anyone, it'd be Sean Longstaff, scoring his first goal in the Premier League today. Uh, Shields lad, like I me. I knew you would say North Shields lad, I can't, I can't say it enough, can I? But um, yeah, mate, absolutely brilliant. He controlled the game again. They couldn't touch him, balls over the top, left, right and centre. And he was getting a bit more thought today, which I like to see. And he caused Burnley a lot of problems, mate, and I don't think they could handle him. Where every time we went forward, he was a big part of every play that we had. I've got a pair Perez Perez today, he did play well. I have criticised him the last couple of weeks, but Perez did play well today. And 
in the second half when we brought Joss Luan and Rondon up front. What we're playing to up front, or what we're playing in behind the striker, who knows? Obviously, it gets every Newcastle fan worried because you like, oh no, he's going to be at the end of all of them. We coped with it the best we could have, really well. Charles Sells was you coped with it really well. I mean, there was a couple of times when he's even um, jumping on top of um, the centre backs as well. But yeah, I was, I was really worried then, but thank God we got through it because there was a couple of scrambles in the box at the end. But I'm glad we got through it and won the game. Burnley it can make it very rugged and very hard for teams, but um, we dealt with them in every 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 way of the day. Like every way that Spurs didn't deal with Burnley at the weekend, we dealt with them the day. Every second ball, every header, we won. Like we were just fantastic, mate, all round. Not the crowd we've seen all them years ago. Now, pretty much come the end of the year. He's about forty-three. <laughs> well, I know. But uh, it didn't even make a difference to them when they came on, so... You know, we could be complacent after Saturday, but um, I knew the run would come to an end at some point, and thankfully it's come to an end tonight. Free retro. Free retro. Free retro.